guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup video. I haven't done one in a while. Um, I know I look like a child right now. I have like my little ponytail and <laughs> my sweater is like rainbow. So I'm gonna be doing my updated face routine, my updated full face routine. I have a new foundation that I wanted to do a review on, but I also have a concealer that I wanted to do a review on, and there's other things that I've been trying that are new. So you guys let me know if you wanna see a full review on it. I can do that for you, but my current favorite foundation is the Bobbi Brown foundation, and this is the color Cool Golden, and is their Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. In the PR package that I got with this foundation, I also got the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's got shea butter, vitamin C, and E in it. My makeup lasts longer because it's moisturized and hydrated. No cracking, no caking. This is a very, a good oily skin foundation because it's really matte. So I feel like the combination of the two is actually really nice because you get the best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. I also really like the um, Bobbi Brown Glow. I'm gonna use some of that as well. This is optional but when I want an extra glow, I just put this like around the areas of my face where I want a little bit more of a glow. So down my nose and I go right here on my cheekbones. But as you can see, that just made my face like really glowy. So that helps with the glowy and dewiness, moisturizing and putting a glow underneath your foundation. I've never tried a foundation that was so spot on as far as color match goes. Um, this is the most spot on color match I've ever tried on me. And it was like a one try and I'm done thing. Let me show you. So I don't have any clean brushes. What am I doing with my life? So I'm gonna buff that in. And this foundation, I'm telling you, I can use a little tiny bit of it on a regular day and it just looks flawless. And it is matte, like I said. So um, I, that's why I like the vitamin face space because it balances out that mattness and I don't be, it doesn't leave my face feeling dry. Matte foundations can make you feel crusty, okay? Uh, and I don't like my face to feel like that. If I were to apply this foundation with a beauty blender, it would be a lot more sheer. That's why I like to use a brush. Not blending that down my neck, you can see that it's a really good match. And you guys know, matching my neck and my chest is always the struggle, but this is a good match without having to take it down. Take it down. Now, you guys, I know you've heard about this concealer and I said that I was gonna do a review on it. Since the cancellation of Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer, we've been looking for a really good alternative, preferably one that's not really expensive because the Tarte Shape Tape was like, what, $24? And for me, the one thing that I really loved about the Tarte Shape Tape was the actual applicator of it, the size of the applicator, because um, my other favorite concealers have really small doe flits and to me, it just doesn't get enough product out at once. Yeah, Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. This is the color C12. I've really fell in love with this concealer. I like how big the applicator is. Look at that. So, and then C12, I feel like it's a good match for me. Um, and then what I like to do is let this sit for like maybe 10 to 15 seconds before. So I'll put this on and then I'll go like wet my beauty blender and clean it off, which is what I'm gonna do now. And by letting it sit for a little while, you allow the product to kind of set in place. There's a difference between blending something out and shearing it out. A beauty blender can really shear a product out and make it less full coverage. And if, if you don't, if you like your full coverage, then you need to let your product sit for a little bit before you start blending, so. Now, if you really want the full coverage, you can use a brush to blend out your concealer. But for me, the Beauty Blender helps to soak up the excess product so there's not too much, and then you have cakey under eyes because cakey under eyes is the quickest way to get creasing. Currently, my favorite powder right now is the Beauty Bakery um, Flower Setting Powder. This is the Yellow Flower. I like the consistency of it. I feel like it's not cakey or like chalky, you know? Um, but this one is a really finely milled, I feel like. So it's it goes on very smooth. And then while I'm letting this set, I'm going to contour with, of course, Fenty Beauty's Truffle Contour Stick. And the reason why I contour 
you know, to give the hollows of to to bring darkness to the areas where you want to make things look more sunken in and carved out. So if you want a nose job, contour your nose. And this is a Smashbox cream cream cheek brush. And then to get this nose part too, it helps to have a smaller brush so that you're not getting it everywhere. Because learning from my own mistakes here, I used to go ham with this contour stuff and have harsh contour like all over my face. And it actually kind of like does the opposite effect when you have too much contour. Powder should be set. I'm gonna use my fou my powder, what? Powder brush. This is my favorite at the moment. This is the Kat Von D number 20. Kind of like sweeps away the powder without wiping off the powder. It just kind of like sweeps away the, the top layer, whatever's sitting. Really nice brush. This is my favorite powder of all time. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish in the color 173. And I love this powder, y'all. It is so amazing. It, to me, it's like, it's like Studio Fix Powder's cousin. It's not as full, like it's not as matte, I guess you could say. Cause Studio Fix Powder is matte and it'll make you look airbrushed. This makes you look airbrushed without the matteness. I feel like it's a lot more versatile. So it can be built up to a full coverage powder, um, but it's definitely like real chill and relaxed. You know, like she's, she's not gonna come up in here and start causing problems. Haven't changed bronzers. I wanna find another one because I feel like I'm just using this one too much. I've hit pan on it. Um, but I mean, I really like it. I haven't found another bronzer that's like my color that I like, you know? Um, but this one's really warm. So I take that around my forehead and then I also add it a little bit to my contour area. Not a lot, just a little. I'm going to do my eyebrows really quickly. My current favorite eyebrow pencil is the new Hourglass Arch Brow, the brow pencil, and I also really love the gel, voluminizing gel. So these two are actually really, really nice. It is a thicker brow uh, applicator. It's like, it's not as precise. But I like that because lately I've just been really into a natural-ish brow. Like I don't carve out my brows anymore. I don't use concealer to carve out my brows anymore. I kind of just fill them in. Now that my brows aren't as skinny, I don't have to, you know, completely draw them on. I'm just literally like filling them in. I've really been appreciating a natural brow these days. I'm just kind of, kind of chill with my eyebrows. I'm not really like pressed. I get my eyebrows threaded, just in case you guys are wondering. Use a brow, the brow gel, just to brush my hairs up. So lately I've really been loving sticks, these sticks by Milk Makeup. Um, I really love the Rally Cream Lip and Cheek Stick. I use this as a blush. I saw Alyssa Ashley do it one day and I really fell in love with it. So um, she uses her fingers. Sometimes I don't want to use my fingers. Um, I actually use the booty of my beauty blender and I just rub it to get some product off on there. And I dab it on my cheek area. And it's like a cream blush, but it kind of like gives a glow and then it makes whatever highlight I put on top of this look magical. Like it just looks like fresh, really fresh faced where is it it's my ray ray girl let me just tell you it's my ray ray's palette i've loved it i have had it since christmas i believe or a little before christmas and i've been using it non-stop i love this palette so freaking much it's so good radiant highlight is probably the best thing about this french toast is cool too moonlight is also really pretty i also really like these three shadows here uh, and I also like the neutral shadow. I'm going to use Radiant and I've been using it with a stippling brush. So first I'm gonna use Rum Stick by Fenty and I don't need to blend it out too much because I'm gonna put something on top. That's gonna be my base for my highlight. I'm just gonna blend it out with this brush to kind of give it a little bit of a blend. You can use your finger as well to kind of like blend that out. Gives a little bit more precision so that, um, you know, you have a little more of a concentrated highlight and it's not like all over the place, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show you guys. Look at that highlight, isn't that amazing? But because I already have on this cream blush, it's like, 
making it even more popping tint. And it's not like a pink highlight, but it's also not your traditional gold highlight, which is what I really like. I feel like the peachiness of this is just fits any look that I that I do. What did Ray Ray do? That bling yang. I like a little space in between my nose highlight just to Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's grand. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Trophy Wife. I've really been just like liking adding a little bit of this just to add some sparkle. And when I was on vacation, I put this like all over my chest and like my neck area too, my collarbone and stuff, just to give a little bit of shimmer to the body. You can't see it in this lighting because it's natural daylight, but if the lighting was artificial, you would really be able to tell. I can actually show y'all. Um, but can y'all see? Look at that. Ooh. Now that I'm done highlighting, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow. Not a lot. I'm gonna take Spice and blend that in my crease area. Like I've told y'all before, I'm not into eyeshadow like that. So when I do wear eyeshadow, I literally just dust it all over my eyes. And then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to my lids. Um, I'm taking Northern Lights from the Huda Beauty highlighter palette. And this is the winter highlighter palette. This highlight is like not, it's not like a normal like powdery highlight. It's like a cream, I feel like. These are like cream highlights. So I never really get a lot of use out of these, but I'm just kind of putting this on my lid to kind of give a little golden look. Mascara that I've been loving right now is the Big Tease by Buxom. Mm, mm, mm. To me, mascaras that all do the same thing. <laughs> I feel like the only thing I like about new mascaras is that they're new and they're juicy. So I think that's why I'd be like, ooh, girl, I like this mascara because it's wet and it's not, you know, dry and crusty. Yeah, I like this one. I mean, I don't know. It depends, I guess, what you need in a mascara. I have long nat la natural lashes, so I feel like I like pretty much all mascaras. My everyday go-to lip is a glossy lip. I typically do a nude glossy lip. Currently, I've really been loving the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. You guys saw me use this in my Maybelline um, foundation video. And I also really like the Nicki Minaj, uh, Nicki's Nude when I want like a pinkish look. So for my lips, I'm going to do um, a lip liner. This is one of my favorites of all time. This is the Jordana. I don't even know if they still make this. I've had this for so long, Coco Loco. Uh, another one that's like it is K by Colourpop and Karuchi. But I love this one. It's so like natural looking to me. And this is like my go-to lip. I do this and then I add the Fenty Beauty Gloss, uh, the Gloss Bomb. And that's like a natural everyday lip. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Driver. I'm going to put some gloss on top. This is the Taraji gloss. Um, I also have the Dose of Colors one and it's the same thing. Um, but the Taraji one, it's like, it's got the gold glitter in it. So I love a ton of gloss these days, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm piling this on. I'm gonna put on lashes because I feel like I look like a kid. So this, I'm gonna put on the Lotus Lashes. My favorite lash glue is the House of Lashes Lash Glue. Recently bought some more because I ran out and I love this lash glue so much. It definitely, like to me, it's just the perfect lash glue because it dries really fast and it stays put. It doesn't go anywhere. Because I bought some Duo glue the other day and I realized why I hate it so much. It takes so long for Duo to dry, man. It takes forever for that glue to dry. I'm like, who wants to wait five hours for their glue to dry? And these are the Yara's Best Lashes. And I love that they are like really like flirty and full, but they don't make my eyes look heavy. That is all for my go-to look. Um, 
Like I said, it varies depending on what I'm wearing. If I do more of a pinkish look, I'll do like pink all over my lid and then I'll do like a pink highlight to kind of match it. Um, currently my favorite pink highlight, if you wanted to know, um, is the Bobbi Brown and this is the Opal Glow. And I love this one. It's It's got a pink tint to it, but it's really, really pretty. I've been wearing that one a lot. And then I also really like Drop of a Hat. It's more of a rose gold. This is by ColourPop. This is another one of my favorites for when I have a pinker look. Yeah, that's all for this look, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you learned something new because uh, all of my looks are the same. I'm throwing shade at myself. So I hope that this was different in some kind of way, shape or form so that you learn something because I feel like I do the same look every time I come on here. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay?